Hi, I'm going to show you how to make some detail maps using Python's Folium library. So what we're looking at here is a layer map where we can look at the different elevations when we are looking at this particular map. I'm going to take you through how we actually use this map and some other styles in just a few moments. So let me close this tile so we can get a look at all the different steps that we will be using in this tutorial. We're going to install Folium, which is the package that has the mapping library. We're going to load in other libraries that we need. We're going to create a basic map. Uh, we're going to install tile layers to our map. We're going to make layer controls and use plugins, and then we're going to add our own data. Uh, these are maps that you usually see on news sites and other very detailed sites. So I'm going to give you the basic start, and you'll be able to layer on and do a lot more different mapping options. So let's get started. So what we can do is install our Folium library. Now you can do this within your command prompt, or you can use this notation, which is an exclamation mark, pip install, and then the library name. And you can see I have Folium. And that's going to install it in your base or your net or your um, working directory that you have indicated. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to import pandas as PD. We're going to import Folium. And then from Folium, we're going to import plugins. And that's going to allow us to do uh, some heat mapping and other aspects that we're going to see in a moment. So let's create a basic map with Folium. And to create a basic map is really easy. All we do is um, we can name a variable here. I just called it m equals Folium. And then we use from that library dot map and that will create a map and all I need to do is call that variable and then you can see we get the world map we can zoom and we can see quite a bit with that map you can see that change as we go deeper in so there's quite a lot of detail there that we can already use with this mapping option you can also alter the size if you need to make it smaller by bringing in some matplotlib figure sizes, but I left it the size that it was. Next, what we're going to do is add some layers. So let me close this so we have a little bit of room. So once we have that map, all we need to do is kind of follow the same instructions. We use folium.map, and now what we can do is starting adding parameters to that map function. So now within that map function, I'm adding a location with lat and longitude. And then I'm adding a zoom for the start. And then I'm adding tiles. And tiles are almost like a covering for your map. As you saw in the previous one, the map was quite basic. Now I added the stamen terrain. And you can see it, the map starts at this location here. And I can just zoom in and out and look at elevation and other countries and have quite a lot of detail. So that is one of the tiles that you can use for your mapping. And we add the location. We display our map again just by calling that variable that we saved everything in. So let's close this section and close this section and close this section. Now what we've done, we created a basic map. We added a tile and a location using those parameters. Let's look at multiple controls. So you can see what I've done again is I've called that folium.map, added a location, and then I'm using tile.layers and I'm adding different layers. So I'm adding the stamen terrain, stamen toner, the stamen watercolor, the cart, the cartop uh, position, and the cartop matter. And then we can add those on with by just using this syntax, which is folium.tilelayers, 
add in the tile layer, and then dot add underscore two, and then we add the map back to that. And what we end up with is something like this, where we have the map controls. Let me pull this up a little bit. And then you can see in the map controls here, I have all of those options that I brought in in the code, all of them here. And I can just click into that, and we can get different tiles, as you see here. And you can see we have New Delhi here, and we can zoom in and zoom out to get more and more detailed as we need it, depending on the tile. Then I can go stamen toner, stamen watercolor, which is quite cool. You can see as we zoom in, it changes. We can also look at the other cartop position, which is also detailed. You can see as we zoom in, we can start seeing more and more structures. We can also look at uh, the darker one here. Now, of course, when we're dealing with maps, we want to be able to add points to our maps. So let's close this. And I'm going to show you how to add data to this map. So here is, I use a URL that has all the earthquakes that happen in a month. And then I use that folium map when I just said, you know, focus on zero, zero, which is just kind of a view on the world with latitude and longitude. Start with zoom at two. Then we're going to use plugins to get a heat map. Within that heat map, I can start asking, adding other parameters, which is the name, the opacity, the radius for our heat, the blur, the max zoom, and then I can add that all on, similar to the way we added on our layers, except I'm using heat map, and then the data that exists in this URL, which has the earthquakes for our data points. And then I can add those data points here, and you can see all of the earthquakes data that is demonstrated on this map. Of course, we can customize this more and more to make it more interesting looking. And now I'll show you how to add your own data. You can definitely just feed in some sample data with, you know, a list of latitude and longitude, or you may have a business or something that you want to add to your map. I put that data in a data frame after I save this list here of different latitude and longitudes. And I've created a data frame, which is just a table. I use the map function from Folian, as we saw before. And I'm just using the first row to start that map by using iLock. And my zoom start is at 10. Then I can add all of the different latitude and longitudes here and to a marker on my map. And all I'm doing is looping through each one of those rows and using data.iterrows to add this to each row. And what we get here is you see we have a marker. And then if we zoom out, we can start seeing where all those markers exist. And you can see where they are on our map. Of course, we can continue to add more of our map to this for styling. And all I did here was instead of just adding this default blue marker, I can add colors, so you can see we can just zoom out and we can see all the colors there. But let me go right back up to colors just to show you how I added those. You can add those colors just as a parameter within your for loop. And then we use the marker and we add that to our map with dot add underscore T-O-M. And then we call the map again. And lastly, for our heat map here. We do a similar thing to what we did with the earthquake map. We call the function with the parameters starting with the first row of our data and then we add our values to our heat map using plugins and then we pass that data back over to the map 
with add dot underscore map. And then what we will get is we get these little heat maps of where things are. Now it's not as detailed as our um, map when we have our earthquakes because the points are only the data that we have in this section here. So we, we don't get a lot of the detail that we would see if we have more points. So this is just a good start to get you started using Folium maps to let you see how detailed and awesome it is to use these Python maps. So you can see all of the detail you can bring in. Please leave any questions or comments below and let me know how your maps go.